at the core of it is this, we have this voice inside of us and training yourself to listen to that voice. Yes, it's difficult, but it's required. And that like, it's, it's, it's it, at the end of the day, it has to be a non-negotiable uh, and it's our journey. It's our, it's our job to learn to listen to ourselves. It's our job. It, 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 it really, it really is. I, I like that. It's well said. Um, you know, as I'm, as I'm touring the country right now, as I'm speaking to these really young, bright minds in these great institutions, you know, one element that keeps on popping up is the mental health element and, and how concerned and worried these kids are with posting and marketing themselves online, right? And worrying about the algorithm. And um, I don't know if I'm old fashioned or not, but, you know, I have a daughter. She's 18 years old now and uh, she's smart. She's, she's in the arts as well. But I sometimes watch how much time she'll spend on, on Instagram scrolling. And I don't know the facts here exactly, but if you spend something in the average of an hour and a half to two hours and 15 minutes a day, I, I, uh, again, paraphrasing it, you will lose 72 days of your year just scrolling online. You know what 72 days I can do with 72 days as a musician? What I can do as if I was an athlete, 72 days in the gym, 72 days at your instrument, 72 days of listening to some of the greatest music can do rather than just listen, watching other people's highlight reels, how, like, how you will go down a rabbit hole and waste a lot of time of your life, potentially years. Um, we've been conditioned to think that other people's opinions are better than ours. Some people's opinions are better than ours. Absolutely. The experts, the ones who've actually gone through it, but you have to do the research and just kind of understand that. But as a society now, like we've given everybody a microphone and that's called Instagram or that's called social media. We've given everybody a platform called GarageBand or the ability to create music. Now, the plus side of that is that it's, it has enlightened us and it has brought in uh, put to light some extraordinary talent that we would have never found in some kid's basement in Arkansas, for example, or in the middle of Manitoba in Canada, uh, who's actually has real talent. The, the, the negative side is that it's put out a lot of bad art and it's put a lot of bad stuff out there that we have to sift through. It's a lot more noise. There's a lot more stuff now that we, there's no more authority that sort of states, this is great art. This is what you have to listen to. Because everybody's like, sort of like fighting, going, going, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm, it's, it's, I, 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 I still wrestle this, with this myself. Um, and, and uh, I just, I just, I really challenge people to trust their gut, listen to themselves. Um, you'd be surprised what would happen, what will happen. In, and you have to remember that when you go through, as I said, you know, Jeff Bezos said it, you know, to be, to go to, to become great, you're, you're going to be misunderstood for probably many years, M many, many years, as a matter of fact, um, growth doesn't happen unless you go through a bit of pain. Just think of that logically. You can't get to another level. Even if you're traveling through a tunnel, it's going to be dark. It's going to be, you're going to require a level of faith that something is there on the other side. And so we just, a lot of times we retreat. We just don't do it because we're scared and we're fearful. Listen, I've been there. I'm not talking like I'm not. Uh, I'm not some guy who's preaching here. I'm preaching on based on my mistakes, on when I there's been absolute. There's been a handful of crossroads in my life where I said, "No, I'm not going to fall on to my old ways. I'm going to actually try and take the risk." Nine times out of ten, that risk turned out to be something extraordinary.